Oh my love, thy cheeks are comely. Why is the woman of songs having such comely cheeks? What is this with her comely cheeks? Cheek is a type of your jawline, right? It's your, your jaws, your licking up. And he's saying through the woman of songs that she has comely cheeks. She has a comely jaw, all right? Who is she again? She's the suitable helper. The bride is called the only helper of the groom thus to bring the life. What is the only helper of the Messiah to bring life? By taking the wrath of God on himself. So he says, she has comely cheeks. And what is translated in English as comely? It's actually in the Hebrew, it ties with suitable. What is spoken about the very first bride? She's the suitable helper in terms of her cheeks, in terms of her jaws, all right? In terms of the fact that she is the horse in the Pharaoh's chariot. In other words, the jumping, skipping, fast moving vehicle of captivity. The rapid moving vehicle of her jaw is suitable. The death is the suitable associate, the suitable helper of the Messiah. A bundle of myrrh is my well beloved. He shall lie all night between my breasts. What is this? She calls the groom a bundle of myrrh between her breasts. Remember, Messiah spoke of himself as the groom. If a bride and a groom come together, there comes life. All right, so what is Jesus needing to be united to, to render forth life? But the righteous justice and wrath of God, he came to die. He took the fire on himself. He took the fire bride, was united to death, became the lamb slain, and thereby he proclaims life. So he has the death that he's overcome, now testify. There is a deep level of prophecy that explains all the strange descriptions that we encounter in Song of Solomon. And she speaks of, while the king sitteth at his table, my spikenard sends forth the smell thereof. Now remember who's speaking this? It's that fire, right? Righteous justice of God. And she says, while the king, in other words, the one that rules, the one that rules that is at his table. If you think about the table, there is a tie in the Hebrew with compassing about so even to the king the ruling one that is in his compassing about my perfume my smell right so that smell that's released of the fire so in that process of his entering death in his enclosing the smell of the fire's breath all right the smell of that fire is released and then she says he has now become a bundle of myrrh between her breasts all right a bundle is a bunching in myrrh means bitterness He's become a bundle of bitterness in her breast. If you think about a breast in the natural, it's a swelling up. And what is she? Fire. Fire's flames swelling up. It's the wrath of God is swelling up around him. And what happens when you throw something in a fire, but it cringes in and it's wasting? A bundle of bitterness has he become in her swelling up while the fire is releasing its smell in the air. All of that in the process of the one that reigns, the king, and he's compassing about in his death and closure before us. Oh, song of songs, which is that of Solomon of peace. He has the most unlikely one, the woman, sing the such as justice and wrath of God. It is life and peace. What is supposed to destroy us, God's wrath, is now singing peace to us by the groom, by Jesus who has died. She testifies that in songs. It is the most beautiful song.